Well, thousands of people, supporters, protesters, some waiting hours to get a spot, a rally for President Trump. The past few years, the president's held massive rallies here in Arizona, sometimes spilling out into the street. So will Arizona play host again soon? Well, over the weekend, President Trump indicated the Republican National Convention could move from its scheduled spot in North Carolina, claiming the governor there won't guarantee that by August, full crowds can attend at that arena. As ABC 15's Mike Pelton shows us, some people are now pitching Arizona as a potential landing spot. Well, remember, Arizona is an important state come November, and the president picked here to make his first visit after an extended stay at the White House just a few weeks ago. So for the convention, could he turn to Arizona as a plan B? Yes, there are hurdles, several, for it to happen. But Phoenix City Councilman Sal DeCicio says if it needs a landing spot, bring the Republican National Convention to the Valley. Ditto for Democrats if they were to need a spot. If North Carolina doesn't work out, it looks like there are going to be at least three other states in play. Georgia, Florida, and Arizona. So why not have it be Arizona? For now, the Republican National Convention is slated for August in North Carolina. But President Trump tweeting over the weekend that it's unclear if the governor will allow the site to reach full occupancy. And if not, they will look for another site. We've got the hotels, we've got the resorts, we've got people, we've got everybody wanting to work. And in the past, we've seen the president can draw a crowd in Arizona. On Tuesday, Phoenix Mayor Kate Gallego's office sending us a statement. Quote, at this point, any conversation about gatherings of any kind in this state or others needs to be led by the advice of medical professionals, with the first priority of keeping people healthy. Aside from health logistically, is it even possible? These things are planned far in advance. State Senate President Karen Fan thinks it's doable. With a technology that it is, we could easily transfer a lot of those things over. So it's a matter of just trying to work through it. But you're right, it's a challenge. But wouldn't it be great if we could? We really need the business. And today we reached out to Governor Ducey's office. He would be a key voice in all of this. To this point, we've not heard back. In Phoenix tonight, Mike Pelton, ABC 15, Arizona.